need some sewing inspiration or just curious about what's going to be on my cutting table this month, then you are in the right place. I'm going to be sharing my sewing plans for September and they are good. Real quick though, would you mind double checking that you are subscribed? It means so much to us YouTubers and it ensures that my videos show up in your subscription tab and on your video feed. If you are new here, I'm Lindsay and I post videos all about sewing like all the time, <laughs> at least that's what it seems. But I make my own clothes and so I share what I've made, tutorials and lots of other really fun things. But let's get into what's going to be on my cutting table this month. Like I said, it's really good. I have a lot of really fun things. First of all, it is National Sewing Month. It is like September is for sewists. That's what I have been saying. So I am doing the sew along for this month, which uh, as you guys have might have heard, the Hemsiders voted on. McCall's 8218, this little cutie jumpsuit that has the option of that like front tie, or you can just make it like a plain regular bodice. Um, we have the option of shorts, culottes, or pants length. So I know you're dying to see what fabric I got and I'm dying to share it with you. I don't want to give it all away because obviously I'm gonna be doing a video next, or uh, really just in a few days, um, sharing about the pattern and the fabric that I got, but also other fabrics that would be good for this pattern. I went to Joanne and filmed a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna be a really good video, but I will tell you that I'm making it out of French Terry, which might be unconventional for a jumpsuit, but I got a lot of inspiration just from Googling like fall jumpsuits, cozy, um, like lux, what is that? Like the term that they're using now is like luxury leisure or something like that. And so that's the kind of vibe I want to go for. I want it to be like comfy, cozy around the house, but also something that I can wear out as well. Now this is a sleeveless jumpsuit. So it's not like it's gonna be super, super hot, but I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek. Ready, three, two, And that's all you're gonna get. Obviously you could pause the video, but it really doesn't say much. But just in a few days, I'm gonna be giving you all the details about the fabric. And so you'll be able to see it in its full glory there. But yeah, so first things first, it's gonna be this pattern, McCall's 8218. A lot of work goes into sew alongs as you can imagine. So I need to get that knocked out first. Then it's also, I'm still doing Sew Together 21. It's like this little, very unofficial <laughs> um, sewing challenge I'm hosting through Instagram where everyone on Instagram votes for a pattern. Um, I kind of give them the patterns to choose from and they all vote on one. This month they picked the Sinclair Daisy Top. Now I've never sewn Sinclair patterns before. They're at Australia. Um, so I'm excited to try this. Again, I'm gonna have like a whole in-depth video for you guys on the Sinclair Daisy, um, on the pattern, on fabric choices, any notions that you'll need and all of that good stuff. My fabric for the Sinclair Daisy, I'm, I'm a little bit torn because my inclination is to make this pattern, and again, I'll talk a lot more about this in the particular Sew Together 21 video, but it, it makes me want to make it out of something lightweight and drapey. But then what do I wear that with? You know what I mean? So it it's leaning a little bit toward like casual office, slightly dressy. So it could be like a really cute brunch thing. So I'm kind of really torn about what to make mine out of. But I did recently get, do you guys know Damask Love on, well, online, she's kind of everywhere. Um, she was on Making It First Season. She's just, you know, really sweet. Great little Instagram. Um, love watching her stories and all that kind of stuff. She has a fabric line through Riley Blake. And so I picked up some of the rayon. And it's this like hot pink with all these little white faces on it. Now it is just kind of like a rayon chalet. So it's not like shiny or anything. So I think it's going to be a little bit more casual. But I don't know. I'm also torn about the daisy sleeves. You can see that there's a flutter sleeve, which I love, but there's also that really pretty long sleeve that could be really great for like cooler, cooler temperatures that I might be able to wear more often for the rest of this year. And I'm, I'm just super torn. I don't know which one I would make. Which one would you make? Or if you're participating, 
which one are you going to make? Um, leave it in the comment section below and that might help me decide and narrow down um, my decision before I film that Sew Together 21 video because I, I can't be on the fence, I have to say. This is what I'm gonna do, this is the fabric I'm using. I don't have to, but I want to. All right, I am also recently super obsessed with um, like statement sweaters. I've been watching a lot of the Magnolia Network and I binged all of the, like whatever the new fixer upper is called, Welcome Home or something. And Joanna Gaines, like in every single episode has a statement sleeve sweater on and they're all so cute and just really, really inspired me. Um, so, so I have Simplicity 9273, I recently just picked this up. Really kind of basic t-shirt pattern, but it does have two statement sleeves. One is like a puff sleeve and the other one is one that has these like bustles or like tucks in it. Um, and so I want to make this with a sweater knit and kind of have something a little bit for fall. I'm also like, I don't know, my fabric is organized. I don't know if you can see behind me, but it's organized by wovens on the left and knits on the right. And the top category is like lightweight and then it goes all the way down to heavyweight. So like in this category here is like that somewhere between light and midweight. There's a lot of sweater knits in there. There's a lot of rib knits in there. And that box is very full. Well, all the boxes are very full, but that one is particularly full. And it's about that time where I could sew those and wear them because the temperatures will be right for a lightweight kind of knit situation. So all that to say, I pulled something that I don't even know where I got it, why I got it, how I got it. I don't know how it ended up in my stash. My guess is that it was very, very cheap. <laughs> but I cannot be sure, but it is a red Hachi knit. And so Hachi is like, I don't know, a type of knit. It's kind of sheer. Can you guys see me through it? Um, and like, I can definitely see the light through it, but I don't know if you guys can see me through it. And it has this like texture to it, but it is super soft. It is lightweight. So I'm leaning toward the puff sleeve but I do desperately want to try this one with all of these little pleats too. I just don't know how this is going to hold up to like, will it just look floppy? Like, I'm not really sure. So that's probably going to be a game time decision, but I am excited about making all the statement sleeve sweaters, <laughs> like all of them and only wearing that this fall. Um, like, you, like you can see, I've got lots of different weights of knits. And so I can definitely make that pleated one um, out of something a little bit more stable, I think it'll show up better. But I want to use this fabric too, because the time is right with the weather. So that's another plan that I have. And then I've got two plans that are left over from August. One of them is this button front skirt simplicity 9267. Um, if you saw the waistband video that I posted where I compared curved waistbands to straight waistbands, I'm going to leave that I never remember what size it, what side it's on. I think it's on this side. I'm going to leave that up here for you guys if you want to go watch that. But I ran into a bit of a snafu. I saw that curved waistband and I thought that is way too curvy for something that sits at my natural waist. So I had to redraft it. That kind of put the whole process on hold. You know when you're just like in the mood and then all of a sudden something like throws you off your game and then you you fix that and then you're like, okay, well now I'm done. That's what happened. Um, and then also I ended up, okay, so I have this little, is it a Gertie pattern? I can't remember. It's, it is Simplicity 9285. So really cute, like, um, I guess like nighty. I don't know, what do you call that? Uh, like little pajama dress. So I have this rayon jersey probably, I don't even know. Um, and you know, it calls for all of that like uh, stretch lace, which I didn't find a lot at Joanne. And this color is just like so specific. And this color is just like so specific. When I talked about this, this make in August's plans videos, a bunch of you suggested a website, which I cannot remember now, where you can get a lot of stretch lace. So I went there 
I'll leave it down here. I went there and bought some. I was going for like a fuchsia and orange. Like it's very on trend right now. Not that anybody's ever going to see me wear this other than Dan, but like it's very on trend now to pair up like odd colored fabrics, like purple and green and stuff like that. So I thought this fuchsia and orange would be like kind of unique, but the orange that I got is like construction orange. <laughs> So I don't know, do we like that? Is that still cute? And then on top of that, the, so this is for like the bodice part and then this is the strapping and they aren't an exact match. So should, I mean, should I just go with this? Because like it doesn't need to be perfect, right? Like it's just to wear to bed. I'm never gonna wear it out in public, like ever. Like I should just use what I have, right? I mean, when I got this, I was like, that's not what I had in mind, but it was, I think, the best option that they had considering, I don't know how I'm going to match this if I tried to go for another pink or purpley pink, whatever color this is. It's just really hard to buy those kinds of things with, you know, online on your on your phone or on your computer screen. You can't really see the colors, but I should probably just get it done, right? Like everything's cut out. Like I just probably just should go with it and have like a little bit of like a funky bright pajama set. <laughs> <laughs> that's the vibe there all right and those are my plans I know I don't know does that seem like a lot to you guys <laughs> sometimes I'm like that's not that much and you guys are like that's way more than I ever so but before you start working on your September projects be sure to download my ultimate garment sewing guide of guides it's this brand new freebie that I've just released for you guys it has seven individual sewing guides in it um, all dedicated toward different elements of garment sewing. And it's, like I said, 100% free for you. I've linked it in the description box. Um, so you can use it as you get through some of your September projects. But I am really excited about all the projects that I'm gonna be sewing this month, especially the sew along. I cannot wait to sew this knit jumpsuit with you guys. If you liked hearing what I'm gonna be working on, give this video a like. And like I said, be sure to check and make sure that you are subscribed. If you want to see all the things that I've made in August, I've linked that video for you guys here in the end screen. If you're on mobile, you can find that link link in the description box. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!